and welcome back to my channel where I am documenting my journey on the Optavia 5-in-1 plan. And if you don't know what Optavia is, feel free to reach out to me. My information is listed in the description box below. But essentially, you have five fuelings a day that you get in your monthly Optavia box and you make one lean and green meal at home, which is essentially lean protein and non-starchy vegetables. So, I'm getting ready to head to work. I'm going to bring the golden chocolate chip pancake and I'm going to have it with some black coffee. Then you will see what I have for my second fueling and I should be home for lunch. I will see you then. So I made it home for lunch and you saw what I had. I had the cheddar biscuit made in the air fryer. Now you just mix two tablespoons of water with the mix and then I put it in my air fryer at 350 for eight minutes and it turns out perfectly. And it's really nice to have bread on the plan. And you saw that I made one quarter cup of egg substitute and I served that on top and it was delicious. Now, one quarter cup of egg substitute is one eighth of a leanest and I will have to subtract that amount from my lean and green tonight. And I'm planning on making cauliflower crust tacos. So I have done the math and I've figured out how to subtract that one eighth lean and what i'm gonna do the original recipe calls for three ounces of cooked 96 percent lean ground beef to take one eighth from that is 0.75 ounces so when i make my tacos tonight i will be using 2.25 ounces of cooked lean ground beef and you'll see exactly how i make that recipe and i will also link it below in the description box so I do have a few updates to let you guys know. I used my heatless curls last night and I thought it turned out really nice. It's so much better for your hair than the curling iron. And I've been trying to let my hair air dry. So I've been washing it in the evenings. <clears throat> There's Leo making some noise. Anyway, where was I? Okay, heatless curls. 
They're awesome. I highly recommend it. And I will link that in my description box below. I got them on Amazon. And the second thing I wanted to update you guys on is I'm going on another vacation. I know, I know. I'm going two weeks from tomorrow. My daughter and I are flying into Miami. We're spending one night at the Hilton Bentley South Beach Resort. And then the next day we board a cruise ship and we are setting sail for Key West and Nassau for three nights. So it's just a little short vacation and I am trying to stay perfectly on plan for the next two weeks. I think I could possibly knock off about five pounds if I do that. And then when I get back, I don't have anything else planned for a while, except for my daughter's wedding in September. And I'm getting ready to order my mother of the bride dress. And I just don't know what size to order. I really want to lose about 25 to 30 pounds before the wedding. But I suppose the seamstress can always take it in. Uh, better too big than too small, right? And when I do get it, I'll be sure to show you guys. It's really pretty. My daughter's colors are dusty blue for the bridesmaids and the groomsmen are wearing navy suits. And so my mother of the bride dress is going to be navy and it has some sequins on it and it's off the shoulder. So it should be very pretty. And I have ordered some new things from walmart.com and they should be here by Friday. So I plan on filming again on Saturday and I'll show you what I got. Uh, mostly spring stuff that I can take on the cruise. All right, well, I am going to head back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling and then I'll be home to make my cauliflower crust tacos. Now I have kind of a busy evening tonight. I really wanted to do the treadmill, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to because I woke up this morning and I did something to my lower back. I have no idea what I did, but it's been extremely painful all day. So I took some Tylenol and that really didn't do the trick. I don't like to take ibuprofen because it gives me heartburn sometimes, but I went ahead and just took that and it's starting to feel better. But I also don't wanna exacerbate it if I did in fact injure my back in some way. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. All right, I'm headed out and I will see you back here for my lean and green. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired of
raindrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs, sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired of you, Ooh, sick and tired of you I'm so tired of love songs that never turns out the way they do I've been trying for so long, looking for someone to So obviously I made it home from work and I just finished my lean and green and that has got to be in the top five of my favorite lean and greens of all time. I don't know why I don't make it more often. It's so easy. But basically, you have seen me in past videos make my cauliflower crusts. And I use a recipe from Sandy's Kitchen, but instead of one big crust, I make two mini crusts. And those are perfect for the taco shells. And then of course, when I use them for my pizza, the edges get crispy and I just like the mini crust so much better. So I measured out 2.25 ounces of cooked lean ground beef. It was 96% lean. And I used one tablespoon of taco seasoning for the whole pound of hamburger. So I'm just counting the seasoning as one condiment. And then I used half a cup of lettuce and a quarter cup of diced tomatoes. And then I had one sixth cup of shredded cheese. Now I don't have a one sixth cup measuring cup, so I just did a heaping one eighth cup. And then I topped it with a tablespoon of light sour cream for another condiment and a packet of Taco Bell fire sauce for my third condiment. And it was so good. So Mike is on his way over. I have a Zoom with my coach, Ashley Kisner, at 6.30. And then Mike and I will probably relax and watch a movie. And then you will see what I have for my last fueling. All right, I'm gonna clean this kitchen up and get ready for my Zoom. I will see you later. Start to try. Even when the sun begins to shine again. Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped. Experience has made me Well, it is time for my last fueling. And I made my favorite. I make cookies out of the decadent chocolate brownie with Greek yogurt chips. And right out of the oven, they are mouthwatering. And you have the little Greek yogurt chips in there. So tasty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. All right, I am going to finish off my cookies before they get too cold and wind down a little bit and call it a night. Like I said earlier, I have some new clothes coming and I will share that with you on Sunday. I'm going to film on Saturday. I'm not quite sure what lean and green I'm going to make, but I'll try to think of something good. And I will show you some of my new clothes for my cruise that I have upcoming. And when the time comes, I will do another vacation recap. I love those. All right, guys. 
I'm gonna say goodnight and I will see you next time.